Ethan here. So I'm going through the comments underneath my video where I asked you if you could give me some suggestions of um, topics I could talk about briefly. Um, <laughs> something that's come up quite a bit, and obviously this is um, because uh, Scalagrim highlighted uh, this this phenomenon, shall we call it, uh, is pommel throwing. Um, now. I've known for many years, in fact, um, that the Gladiatoria Codex, uh, which I think there are three extant um, versions of, so it's a German treatise um, that deals m uh, mostly with armoured fighting, um, and it has a bit in it where it shows one of the fighters unscrewing the pommel of their longsword and throwing it at the opponent. And this has caused, uh, certainly on um, Scal's channel, no end of jokes and comments and uh, discussion and it's kind of bled over onto my channel as well because you know you think first of all is it plausible that someone could have had a screw off pommel in the 15th century gladiatoria i think dated about 1440 judging by the armor um firstly yes it's possible uh, we know that there are screw on components and parts shown in other treatises as well and we know there are surviving examples of uh, nuts and bolts, essentially. So yes, they could have made a screw on pommel. However, if you do have a pommel that unscrews, obviously you have to have a nut which holds the rest of the hilt on. Otherwise, the blade would drop out of the handle and the guard, and you'd be left with a sword that's in pieces. Um, so it would need to be essentially a trick pommel. Also, if you were going to get it off in time, as Scal mentioned, you'd have to have a thread, not like a modern thread, where you'd be like... Just wait a second while I'm just undoing my pommel hand. Da, 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 da. Ha! Throw it. Uh, that wouldn't be much good. You'd have to be kind of like click off and throw. Okay, so almost like a bayonet type fitting. Um, but finally, and actually this is the main point for me, like they're in armour. What is throwing a pommel going to do? Like what good is throwing a pommel at someone in armour? None, frankly. Um, nobody can throw, even like a world-class cricket player or shot putter, cannot throw a pommel hard enough um, against someone in armour to really do anything. Uh, you might make them laugh, but that shouldn't be uh, that shouldn't be underestimated as a as a tactic in a fight. Uh, but so basically, we don't know. The answer is it's a curiosity. A, a screw off pommel by just is a weird enough thing by itself. Why you're throwing it in armour against someone else in armour, we don't know. And what's funny is if you look at the rest of that uh, treatise, there's nothing else in there really which is particularly weird or out of the ordinary. The rest of it's pretty much, um, pretty much standard stuff. So I suspect, actually, that it's a joke. Um, and um, jokes in medieval art are actually have a very strong and long-lasting tradition. If we look at the marginalia, around many um, manuscripts, for example, the Luctral Psalter or the Romance of Alexander, you'll see that the monks uh, who presumably made these manuscripts have lots of little jokes. Again, these, uh, these have been spoken about in videos and on a uh, scholar uh, Facebook page, uh, you know, rabbits hunting men and uh, snails, um, uh, people fighting snails, and jousting between different animals and monkeys doing funny things with their butts and all kinds of weird stuff so uh, very clearly jokes played a part in medieval manuscripts and that's what I suspect the unscrewing of the pommel and throwing it at the armoured opponent is. I'm not saying it's impossible but what would it do? It's kind of a pointless uh, endeavour I think and in that same treatise we see throwing of spears and throwing of swords which clearly does have a good purpose to it uh, and might actually injure someone. There we go guys, cheers!